Aviation industry is now stepping ahead from multi-group operations to single pilot operations. This is our proposal for improvements of new single pilot flight deck based on human factors challenges. We based on Shell model to develop our suggestions for human factors challenges. Our main focus will lie where is pilot. For software, we looked into radio communication, operational procedures and automatic systems. For hardware, we focused on control panel. Under environment component, we considered the workload. And finally, for liveware, we worked on ground operator and sensory limitations. Human factors design requirements of the new single pilot flight deck. Increase workload, improve communication, increase safety awareness, maintain learnability, prevent peripheral vision and ergonomics. Under ergonomics, we'll be looking at anthropometry, designing eye position, workplace constraints, and pilot comfort. Now we will look at the suggestions to improve operations of single pilot flight deck. Decreasing of workload. We are proposing a new warning system and visual pilot assistance to decrease the workload. Warning system. Establish a new warning system which will alert both pilot and the ground operator at the same time. In an emergency situation, if the pilot didn't notice the alert, the ground operator can immediately inform the pilot about the issue. Visual Pilot Assistance Single pilot operations require more extensive operational and safety assessment to ensure the aircraft is not compromised in case of pilot incapacitation. VPA is an advanced CNS system. It assists the pilot with several intelligent functions. This will decrease the workload and increase the system autonomy. The second human factor challenge that we focus on is communication. Communication between aircrew and ground staff become more important under the single pilot operation. However, there are problems like miscommunication such as pilot falsely hurt 22,000 feet to 20,000 feet and time delay in current use of radio communication which result in unsafe ad. Therefore, we suggest installing communication function in flight management system to enable communicate by text through control display unit. A head-up display is an integral part of the cockpit and is an added factor to ensuring safety. The head-up display allows the pilot to read critical flight information such as airspeed, he heading and altitude while the eyes remain fixed outside. This allows the pilot to receive real live flight information while looking for external factors such as weather conditions or traffic. An additional benefit of a head-up display is that there is less head and eye movement, which results in less spatial disorientation and illusion, such as the illusion of graveyard spinning. The ground operator is also an integral part of the single pilot operation. They can provide additional critical information to the pilot to increase their situational awareness. There are three suggestions we think of to deal with the vulnerability of a new airliner and consider peripheral vision. A pilot is under huge amounts of pressure, stress and experiences high workload situations and therefore does not have the time to flip through hundreds of menus. Instead, the cockpit will have a flight computer with documents and menus integrated into the system. The system will allow the pilot to quickly search keywords, saving valuable time. This will be critical in emergency situations where the pilot will have to take control of the aircraft, eliminate or mitigate the hazard while still following the correct procedure outlines in the emergency manual. The second suggestion is changing the control panels. Our idea is it has to be universal to all aircraft and easy to learn where all the controls are because people rely in muscle memories. Other than that, we highlighted that the control panel have to be within arm reach as well as within standard vision, which means the panels should not be located in peripheral vision and should be within visual field of normal human. In another word, the size and location of panels should be well suited for single pilot operation and we believe having fewer controls but more electronically integrated control will be beneficial. And finally, seats. As pilot required to work in the cockpit for a long period of time, the new design of seat has to be comfortable and suitable for at least 95% of users by considering the size and shape of individual. Other than those physical design, we have some operational recommendations for both pilot and dispatcher. Firstly, training and simulations are needed. We think hot debrief is also needed to be held after every simulation and training. Further, confidential feedback process is essential to develop required technology and techniques. Finally, we recommend having monthly formal briefing to identify problems and thus assign responsible parties for follow-up actions. As a team, we believe that single pilot operations is possible, however, the single pilot needs to have the right support around them. This includes continuous grant air support that provides the pilot flying with help and information to reduce workload, digitalization books and manuals, 
the flight deck and controls should be redeveloped and enable easy reach for the pilot. The controls should also be reduced and prioritised on frequency of use. With the right support and redevelopment of the cockpit, we believe that single pilot operations can become reality as long as the public are open-minded.